In my eyes, Vinny Sombrato was the closest thing to a perfect lacrosse player I have ever seen. If God were asked to create the perfect lacrosse midfielder, he would have created Vinny Sombrato. And he did. Vinny Sombrato isn't just a decorated Hofstra lacrosse alumnus. He's one of the all-time greats to ever play the sport. The singular combination of skill, will, intensity, and intelligence add up to the creation of Vinny Sombrato. However, he had an immeasurable impact on any lacrosse game in which he played. His will to win and the level of intensity he brought to every game were unmatched. Sombrato's 1980 All-American season was one for the record books the cog of a group that had multiple All-American honorees. He enhanced the play of others through his lacrosse IQ and love of the sport. Whether as a teammate or a competitor, Vinny was the smartest player with whom I ever had the pleasure to share a lacrosse field. He made me a significantly better player by, uh, uh, as my teammate. He, uh, I did not have uh, his work ethic. Uh, nor did I have uh, his ambition. Uh, but when we played together in 1980, he brought the best out in me. And sometimes that was tough to do. And I'm uh, eternally grateful for that. Sombrato, an ageless wonder, played professionally into his 40s. He was the first player in U.S. senior team history to make the squad four times, leading as a captain twice and winning four gold medals. You need a U-Haul when he moves just for his trophies and hardware that he's accumulated. Each year at the Nassau County High School Boys Lacrosse Championships, one player from each of the eight remaining teams is the recipient of the James C. Metzger Leadership Award. Among many traits, the award is given to someone who also possesses the ability to inspire others on and off the field. The same characteristics that made Vinny Sombrato the Hall of Fame athlete he is today. Vinny Sombrato has impeccable integrity. In impeccable integrity. He's honest. He's the salt of the earth as a human being. <laughs>